What's up everybody? Hey, so it's been like 14 days since I put out a video. It's not that I haven't been fishing, I just haven't gotten content worth uploading. I've caught some fish, I've had topwater blowups. I could clip it all together and make like a zombie video. That would be semi worth watching. But what I'm gonna do is put up a video I've taken previously. It's of a sturgeon fishing trip on the Columbia River. It was a lot of fun, we caught a lot of fish, including an eight foot six, roll tape now so you don't have to watch me. This eight foot six, I hooked it myself. Um, we fought it up under a bridge and stuff. You know, halfway through I passed the rod off to my brother and we eventually ended up landing it and it's the biggest sturgeon I've ever caught. I've had so many bites and I finally stuck a fish. I'm excited right now. It's 12 feet. That's a safe rush. It's like 6 or 7. It's going to be 45. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I only saw that. Did you guys see it coming at me? I could not keep up with it. It was crazy. Oh my gosh, man. You got a good one, don't you? Just let him run. Don't thumb him. Don't thumb him. Just let him go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let, let the smooth drag do its smooth thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a 45 inch. There you go. So, yeah. There you go. I'm not convinced yet. Yeah, it's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Mine was in by now, wasn't it? And he's like 10 years older. <laughs> <laughs> Five more people in our spot. Right. These are buoys there. Yeah. 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 Like double. That's crazy. No, oh, you got a bite too, huh? Oh yeah, I almost hit him. But... I don't do that. Taking line again. Look at that. Come off of there. <laughs> you want me to pause this? Pick it up again when it gets... Yeah, go for it. Jason's fighting an oversized sturgeon. We're about to go under a bridge and we're trying not to drape the line on some stuff. <laughs> Keep it real tight. All right, decision time. Where are we going? We're, fish, where are we going? Oh man. I think we're gonna be on. Yep. I think we're doing. I think we're doing good. Please keep going out. It's gonna. He's cutting it close. There's the buoy. Keep working him. Keep working him. Keep it tight. He's never caught a sturgeon. Crank, crank, crank. We're going towards it, just real. All right, let's not get on top of it. Uh-oh. 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 He's on it. He's on the cable. I want everybody to clear the center. Just kind of stay on the sides. He might be off now. Keep it reeling, keep it reeling. There you go, there you go. Keep it reeling. I think we're clear. Keep it reeling. No, we're still on it. What do we do? Get up the river of it or what? This sucks. Oh, it broke. It broke. Wait. Nope. There you go. Keep it reeling. Still on it. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I'm confused. People lose anchor ropes down here too. I know there's something else other than the buoy cable. No. I don't think there's. What's happening? Okay, good. The fish is still there. It was just coming up with you, I guess. Yeah. It's amateur hour because uh, Alec doesn't know how to use a GoPro, but this thing, <laughs> this thing jumped. What do you have to say about that, Alec? <laughs> I think I was reeling my line. <laughs> you win it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks like it. You're doing good, Jason. I can't, I can't do anything about this. A little bit of long thing that'll cut that braid. Tell me if it's gonna jump. Jason's getting tired. He's reeling with his wrong hand. He's making his thumb bleed because it's running on the line. And the rod off. And the pull off. Hey man, Jason, Jason's paying good money too. He's got to fight a fish. 
Jason, Jason, you tired yet? <laughs> Jason's gonna get this one to completion. I've got to finish the job for you. <laughs> yeah, watch the line, brah. Yeah, maybe sit on that. Look at this tourist over here taking videos and pictures at the same time. James was right when he said that bait looked good. Yeah, it did look good. If this is keeper size, I'm gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> Just an angry keeper. It's getting tired. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't need a pump if he's coming right at you. Just, oh, he's not. I made the decision not to take us walleye fishing. <laughs> I'd say it's a good decision, right? <laughs> I'm glad a fish decided to actually eat my bait. God. Get her belly up. Once she flips over, she's going to calm down. When it's close to you, you gotta be careful. If she wants to go, just let her go. What was that? I just feel like a log. How big is it? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I said six or seven feet, and I'm gonna stick with that until it's eight feet. <laughs> then you'll say eight feet. Then I'll say I think it's eight feet. All right. Oh, oh there. that's oh, Bubbles. Oh, I see Leader though. Leader. Yeah. He's, oh, where do you want Good fish. Leader? Good fish. Good fish. Let's get out of the way for Chris to get in here. A little bit of line. Really? Yep. It's close. I'm just a tourist here. I'm not trying to get in the way. I take picture. Yep. Leader and fish head. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I hope you like that. Sturgeon fishing is pretty fun. I don't know if you've ever gone, but if you haven't, uh, definitely go sturgeon fishing at some point in your life. Pay a guide if you have to. Um, you don't need a guide. On a river like that, it's just safer. And obviously his know-how and his locations are, he's, he's gathered hes gathered that information all his life. So paying a guide is, that's why you do it. But anyways, I, I, I think the that video is also relevant because it marks like a transition. The silvers are starting to show up. Um, like this river here, it, this is the Skagit River, and it gets tons of silvers and tons of other things, you know, steelhead. Uh, you can actually catch sturgeon in this river. This isn't the Columbia, but you know, it's still a big river with sturgeon in it. So anyways, I'm gonna start pounding those silvers now. I'm, I'm gonna fish for them a lot. I'm sure I'll go bass fishing on weekdays when, you know, I get off work and I have nothing better to do than to go try to make a video. And hopefully I'll, catch you know an eight or ten pound large mouth or a six pound small mouth but you know no promises I haven't done it all year so why would I do it in the fall I'm just hoping but I'm gonna start fishing for silvers a lot in the winter time if I keep fishing and I don't get the opposite of cabin fever where I just want to like eat Cheetos and sleep if that ha in in the winter I'm gonna start fishing for steelhead and so my videos are gonna go from these green fish that you catch by casting really close to stuff to the silver fish that you catch out in the open ocean or in bigger rivers um, 
I'm definitely gonna hit small rivers as well, but you know, river fishing's super fun. So hopefully you don't unsubscribe because you don't like to fish rivers or you never have or whatever. Maybe I can convince you that it's fun. Um, and maybe coming from a bass guy, it, it, you'll be like, oh, so this guy likes bass and he likes fishing the ocean. So I can too or whatever. But anyways, I hope you liked the video and I hope you're excited about the future um, and future uploads. I haven't given up this YouTube thing. Um, I'm just kind of transitioning to something new because I kind of have no uh, alternatives. I'm not gonna figure out how to catch smallmouth in Lake Washington in the dead of winter like some people can. Those guys are crazy. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm going to start going in sort of a different direction. Uh, hopefully I'll get more bass content for you and stuff, but I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I have 25 subscribers, so every video I put up should get 25 comments. Yeah, that's my math. Anyways, thanks for your support. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the past ones. I hope you tell your friends about my channel. Have a great day. Peace. Peace.